So uh, it's been a long week of January 2020. It's always nice just to uh, unwind, kind of relax a little bit, and this is how I do it by uh, diecast cars, and vehicles. Uh, this is my man cave. I uh, haven't really done much to it. Just uh, the weather. The last couple weeks has not been very nice to us here. Just haven't got uh, the material that I needed to uh, finish my walls or my lighting. But uh, hopefully this weekend we'll get back on it and uh, start uh, doing a little bit more to the man cave here. But uh, I've done some videos now on some of these Hot Wheels transports. And I ran across some of these Matchbox Convoys. These things uh, have a, a tanker truck here with a vehicle. I've got three of these things. These are by Matchbox. Uh, runs about the same price, about five, five or six bucks. I guess a pop is one on these. Um, I got the one with the Tesla. The Badlander and then uh, the Dirt the, uh, dirt Smasher. So let's kind of open these up and uh, take a look at these things. These things look pretty cool on the shelf. Uh, I'm not sure that the trucks is not really the 164 scale. But we'll look at them and see what they look like. So we'll start off with the tanker here. Got to have trucks to uh, transport our services and goods to us wherever we live. Good transportation vehicle. Plenty of jobs out there on the truckers. So uh, here is the, let's see if we can get this thing all on my turntable here. Give it a whirl here. So the big, the trucks are pretty cool. And then, of course, you get the uh, 2000. This is, this is a 2007 Mattel, so this is an older casting. That's a Badlander, uh, plastic bottom, metal top. But uh, very cool detail. If you really get into detail, you could really detail this out the back of the bed and stuff. So it's a neat little truck. So uh, these, I haven't bought a actually semi set in a long time so this is pretty cool it's a 2019 so I don't know I'm sure this truck will come apart yep sure does so you got the trailer comes apart stands alone all right the truck here I'm seeing if it has a scale on it usually sometimes they put a scale on here But they don't. But that's all right. It's a plastic bottom. It's got uh, six wheels, so that's really neat. I uh, should have got some of my older Matchbox cars out just to kind of compare. But uh, as far as the truck-wise, I do like that. Let's get this one off here. We kind of know. I like, like I said, it's more into. I like the semis here. So uh, put this trailer back up. So that's pretty cool. A Dragon Slayer. Very nicely done. Uh, looks like it's a right hand driver. Um, next we have is the Ford Cargo Logger and Dirt Master. So the logger is a really neat to, to have. Again, if you have a diorama, it really makes it look neat. Very cool card art. So you get the tractor that loads the logs on there. Some a couple little bit of moving parts there.
then the logs are individually are actually individually logs with the rubber they're just rubber band together then you got the loader that really probably doesn't reach up there and grab the doesn't really grab the logs but that's fine again the truck is very interesting to look at here the Ford I like Fords uh, the trailer's plastic. Uh, the trailer on the other one was plastic. So this is actually a single axle truck. Pretty neat. Rolls real good and stuff. So. I say I haven't really bought a semi set in a long time for a truck and trailer. Let's uh, put that back up on there and let it spin around and get a good look at it. And then the next one here is the Tesla. So that gives us another car I have. But I like the, the semi there because it had the skirting around the fenders there. And Tesla it looks pretty cool. So if you go on and YouTube Tesla vehicles, uh, it's the car of the future is electric. So the Tesla is done up pretty nice, uh, usual with the headlights and the taillights should be done. Yep. Matchbox was doing a real good job on that, but uh, so I haven't had a, a box trailer in a long time either. So uh, doesn't look like the back doors on the trailer do not open up, so it's just uh, all boxed in. But uh, the truck looks kind of cool. Now I know some of them, like some of the videos you see, or not, uh, the driver actually set, I think, sets right in the middle of the cab. I cannot see, but the truck driver actually sits in the middle of the truck, which is, I don't know, maybe not this one, but there's been a few of the YouTube videos I've watched where the semis of the future, the, the truck driver is actually in the middle of the truck, sits there. So that's pretty cool by Matchbox. So like I said, I haven't bought a uh, set of semis in a long time. I've kind of got only these transports with my Hot Wheels. So like anything else, uh, die cast if they make it and it's reasonable price, people will buy them. Uh, collectors will buy them and and uh, so uh, it's a pretty good start with a few truck trucks um, kind of gives you an idea on a diorama if you decide to uh, make a truck stop with a gas station or something like that or a industrial area where you need semis to be delivering goods so all right, that's pretty nice to have. I'm glad I am kind of documenting some of the stuff so that that way uh, I remember what I have and don't have. And uh, again, the man cave is kind of mm, haven't really done anything lately, so everything's pretty well the same. I'll try to work on it this weekend. Get a little time to do that. The weather permitting. So, alright. 
thank you guys for watching and uh, collect what you like and uh, have a great weekend happy hunting and uh, we'll see you on your next video and I still have a few things I still got some Hot Wheel team uh, transports I need to open up uh, actually in all the world so I need I got to get going on back on this stuff but uh, one thing about it's uh, it's at my leisure my my time to to do it and uh, that's what makes it fun so take care guys we'll see you later bye